everybody and welcome back to my channel as you can see we have another background today um, it was a bit dreary and overcast so I didn't really have um, good lighting coming in at the house we had to run an errand so I decided to use the little gazebo in our little bitty town to film this video so we'll see how it turns out so today's video is something it's a little different but it's kind of similar to some things that I've done before in the kind of what's in my insert bag type here type post or video. Today I'm doing a what's in my cosmetology kit. If you've been uh, paying attention over on the blog, I've mentioned several times over the past couple weeks that I am now a cosmetology student. I have just finished about, I'm about to finish my first month, like full 30 days. And so far I'm really, really enjoying it, but I'm going to get into all of that stuff in like a recap. But for right now, I'm going to get into kind of like what's in my kit. Now, I do want to, before I get into it, I do want to preface this with, this will be a two-part video. And this first part will be a what I'm currently carrying in my kit and what I've kind of upgraded, different things like that. Um, for the full, you know, other part of what was it included in the kit that I got from my school, but I don't carry all those items right now, that part will be in like a week or so. However, for those of you that are a bit impatient, I will have a list down in the information bar below that will tell you all of the items that were included in the kit. But for today's video, it will be just the things that I take with me to class for this semester on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's go on ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna just leave it like this for just a second just so you could kind of see the case that I'm currently carrying. This is the case that I currently have. Um, this little bar here in the back extends up for me to be able to roll that with me to school and roll it around like in the lab. It has four wheels instead of two and just static casters. Now I will say that this did come with, it has like a second piece that goes from about here to about there and then it still has a bit more handle above it that is more of a makeup style case however we're not messing with that right now um, that won't be till next semester so for right now I'm just carrying this kind of larger the larger section so real quick I'm gonna open it up and show you what it looks like inside before I get into what actually is inside of it so these handles here pop up and the lid comes off, which it has two little straps right there that I keep some stuff in. And then this little clips pop open and that extends like that, which allows this tray with my loose rollers to come out like so and it has like it had a bunch of different compartments but I actually customized it to how I wanted it and then inside it's just this big deep area with it and it has like little straps inside of there as well so that is what my current case looks like so now I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna get into what is actually inside of there all right so I'm just gonna randomly pull things out the first thing in here is my lab coat whenever we are in the lab working on our mannequins or on actual clients we have to have a knee length lab coat that fastens although we don't have to have it fastened um, here in a week I'll actually have a name badge it's currently being printed that'll have my name and it'll just say um, I believe it'll say stylist or something like that I forgot what they put on there but we have to have this and then the next item I'm going to pull out is the blow dryer that we currently have. And this was in the kit. I have not upgraded this yet. And they gave us the Hot Tools Professional Ionic Turbo Salon Dryer. It's supposed to dry up to 40% faster. It has the cool shot button. It has your high, medium, and low heats. And your high, medium, low, and off speeds. Now the way that I use this as you can see, I haven't actually used it in class. We've been using the actual class dryers. But in my kit, it has, like I said, little straps. I actually will put this part in a strap and then put this part in another strap and it kind of just sits against the back of the kit. The next thing that I have in here 
is the uh, mannequin holder. It's like the little mannequin stand for my mannequin, who also usually is in there, but she's not right now because I recently took her to class, just her, and didn't take the kit. So she had rollers in her hair and everything. So forgive her messy hair right now. But this is the Miss Jenny style mannequin. We actually are encouraged to name them separately from what their mannequin names are. And I named her Little Miss. That is her name. So we are working with more natural hair at the moment. Her hair has been cut. It has been trimmed at the edges. And then it has been 90 degree cut all over. And this style is currently just from a wet set roller that sat for like a couple days. And then, like I said, the mannequin stand, those kind of go in there at the bottom together. Um, and this is just so I can use it at any table if I don't have a stand in class. Alright, so next in the bottom, I have the flat iron. Hang on, let me get the box so you can see what kind we got. Ooh, hang on. Because I don't keep the boxes in there because I'm using them. It's stupid to kind of pull them out of the box every time. Um, the boxes were at home separately. We're encouraged to keep the boxes in case anything happened to them. But I have the Hot Tools Nano Ceramic 1 inch salon flat iron. It looks like this. Heats up to 450. So I got that. But I did do an upgrade and at Sally's Beauty I bought this flat iron traveling case. It looks like this on the back and it actually works as a mat when I'm at my station. I can plug it in, use it, and then just sit it right down on top of that and not have to worry about anything being burnt. And so it goes, the flat iron goes in this side, and then the cord just nestles into this side. Also in the bottom, I keep um, a couple of little bottles, little travel size bottles. I keep a John Frieda shampoo and a John Frieda conditioner. I just got them super cheap at CVS. That's why I'm using these to shampoo her hair and condition it whenever it needs it. I will say one thing about these is that if you have one, don't ever use warm water on her hair. Don't put hot water on her hair. It will tangle like ain't nobody's business. So use cold water if you can. And I just, like I said, travel shampoo and conditioner. And then I also keep a setting lotion in there that I will sometimes add to my water bottle to make her hair just kind of hold a little bit better. I actually got this from somebody in my class. She brought it for me. It was very nice of her. I'm loving the people that are in my class. They're so awesome. All right, so I also have a water bottle. This is the one that came with my kit, this little green one. I actually, this is one of the things I'm adding into my kit. I just upgraded this from Sally's Beauty. I bought this uh, what Saturday I went and got this and it is it's labeled because we have to have everything labeled in the class and it, things come off of this bottle and I can hold more water in this so this just says water and on the other side it says peace it's nice it's big and it's pink which I love so I got this to upgrade this from I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, hit what's in the lid uh, instead of doing the tray right next because if, once I get into the stuff that's in the tray I'm gonna forget that I have things in the lid. So the lid has two little um, straps here. I keep a shampoo cape in one side because even though we're working on mannequins we do have to have them properly draped at all times so I keep a shampoo cape in here and then I keep a nice comb out cape and you can tell the difference in that this one is just kind of like a rubber type material and this one has that kind of same material but it's got the lace in the end so you would use this for all of your wet type of um, items that you do and then you would use this one for your dries so your blowouts your comb outs from your well, there are different things like that and this is going to be your shampoos your cuts your colors your highlights and all that kind of different stuff all right so now we're going to get to the tray and i will warn you it is a lot messy because I am filming this having, you know, not reset after my last class and after my last roller set. So, like I said, this is my tray. And we're going to go on ahead and jump in with some of these Luler bags first. 
That way when I get to the rollers, I can kind of build them back up. All right, so the first thing that I keep in my kit is a little Ziploc bag. Like I said, everything has to be labeled according to state board regulations. So I keep a Ziploc bag of non-latex gloves labeled non-latex gloves very prominently because I am allergic to latex. So this lets everybody know that these gloves do not have latex in them. So, and it's labeled with my name in a little Ziploc bag. The next thing that I have in here are some all-purpose clips, again, labeled and taken out of their box. This is actually what these looked like when they came in the kit, and these are the type of clips that they are, because we got a lot of these, and they don't all fit in that little Ziploc bag. But they are the little ones, they open like this, and if you can tell, they have this little piece there in the middle, you see that? These are for your rollers, when you roll the hair and you clip the hit, you clip that onto the scalp like that. That's what those are for. So I keep a Ziploc full of those and then I have extras over to the side. The next kind of clips that we have are a bag of curl clips. I don't think I, I have the box, but I don't think it has, um, oh, it has one in there, okay. So this is what these look like. This is the box, it was a smaller box. And these are similar, but a little different. As you can tell, they're a lot thinner. They're just a small point. And what these do are, these are for your pin curls when you do those. We have not got to those. I think we're gonna learn those tomorrow. So, well, actually yesterday from when you're seeing this. So I keep a bag of those in there. Let's see. I also, I'm actually going to upgrade this. I keep a small Ziploc of a few bobby pins. But I actually went, when I went to Sally's on Saturday, I upgraded to this um, little holder that has 300 bobby pins in it. And this is gonna just fit right into my case. So I picked this up and I'm gonna actually toss these because as you can see, they were not labeled, they were not state board regulation, and we can't reuse them anyway. So I got this instead. And the reason that I went with this instead of just keeping a small amount is because you cannot reuse these in people's hair. So if somebody comes to you and you're taking bobby pins out and you're planning on re-bobby pinning, you have to use brand new bobby pins according to state board regulations. So that is why I went with this bigger uh, item instead of the keeping the small amount because I'm going to need a lot. The next one that we have are the duck bill clips. These are actually just, hang on, let me find the box. There it is. These are basically just longer versions of the pin curl type clips. This is what these look like. See, they're really long. A lot of times people will use these just to pin the hair when you're sectioning it for like cutting and stuff like that. You do not want to use these whenever you are sectioning for coloring or highlights. The metal will mess up the hair. So just a, a warning there. Um, I also keep little empty bags just in case because if any hair gets into say one of these curl bags, I will have to completely take these, sanitize them, put them in a new bag that does not have hair in it with and move the label over. So I always keep a few extra of these in my kit just in case that happens. Otherwise, they're gonna be flying around all over and I'll have to sanitize them when I get home. All right. I also keep, I have to get labels for these, but I keep two little plastic containers um, that have little rubber bands inside of them. I do not want to open these at the moment because they will go everywhere. But these are just the little bands that you put like at the end of the braids or in ponytails to hide them. Um, they're the super stretch kind so they won't pop. So I keep some in black for dark hairs and I keep some in clear just to make them a little invisible if the, these are too visible. I always keep more clears than the blacks just in case. All right. The next item that I have in here are, and it's labeled, my butterfly clips. These are for like sectioning off the parts for the roller sets or for the cutting if you're not wanting to use the duck bill because you're limited on how many duck bills you have. Um, there were 12 in these and I believe I have nine in here currently of these kinds. So this is like this and the metal is up here so you can kind of get away with using these on the hair lining and stuff like that. However, just in case those were not enough, I also 
purchased at Sally's on Saturday. Um, I'm trying to see how many are in here. Three, six, nine. There are 12 in here as well. So that already gives me more than the duckbill clips. So I have these in black and white. And as you can see, they kind of curve in a kind of half circle. And then I have these smaller ones. These will be good for the thicker sections of hair towards the back when you're sectioning. And these will be better for like in the bang area where areas are like on the side where areas are smaller and you don't need such big clips. So I'm gonna stick this in here because later I'm gonna pop those in. All right. The next thing that we have is probably the rollers. Uh, what I'm gonna do on these is it came in a in, in a on a caddy and they were kind of stacked up because the caddy had like these little sticks coming off of it. The problem with that is is once you opened it because ours was wrapped in saran wrap, they went everywhere, and you know. Um, Tupperware bowls did not hold them. I mean, it is a pain to keep these things together. So they came in two sizes. We have the short ones, which look like this. And you have the red, the kind of turquoisey color, the beige, the yellow, the orange, and the blue. And what this is, is they're color coded for what type of curl you're gonna get. For these, you're gonna get the, bit, the more flowy type curls. What you see here in the front, how these are really loose type curls, that's what these bigger ones are gonna give you. And then the smaller you go, the tighter the curl you're gonna get. So this, you're gonna really you know, get a tight curl. But the only problem is, is you don't wanna go too thick on that kind of hair. So if you're using this, you're still gonna only wanna use like a very small section. Like I'm talking like only a few strands of hair on this because if you get it too thick, it won't dry all the way through the layers. And so you won't get the type of curl that you're aiming for with this. So that's why there are different sizes and that's why they are different colors. Now the way that I keep these stored is in these small bags, I have these sorted out. These were the small sizes that we got. Oops, that one came apart, there we go. So I have eight of these and again, they all are kind of stacked like that and then whoops hello flutter by clip run away butterfly clip and then I keep hang on I'm picking up curlers that I use or rollers that I use I keep a bigger bag of the bigger ones. Like I said, these are currently all messed up because I've recently used them. They have not been sanitized. As you can see, there's a hair in there. So that is why these are not all back together because they're gonna have to be cleaned up. But to show you that these do go the same way, hang on. As you can see, they have the same color coding system. They're just longer. So you have your red, your turquoise, your beige, your yellow. Hang on, the orange is stuck. The orange and then the bright blue. You can get away with doing more hair on these, you know, a little wider section of hair than just a few strands and you're still gonna get that tighter curl with like that blue one. So they're the same things as the short ones and I got quite a few of them. And then the next thing that I have in there, well this actually sits on top of those but they were, the loose ones were kind of in the way, is I keep my combs and styling brushes in this one bag here. It needs to be labeled. It's not. I'm so bad. But I've also upgraded some of these items. I bought some stuff over the past couple days. But we got several of these types of combs, which have the little sectioning numbers on there. We got several rat tail combs. We got a big shampoo comb, which is good for getting the tangles out. We got a brush that is really good for, ah, mannequin hair. See, it needed to be, it all needs to be sanitized before I put it back. We got this kind of brush that's good for style, it's a styling brush. It's good for natural hair. That's another comb, that's another comb. And then we have this kind of vent style, which is good for kind of brushing out hair. Now, I'm gonna show you the ones that I got as an upgrade. This one 
I got at CVS. But I haven't opened it yet. There it goes. Okay, there. Alright. And this was just a little, little cheap set that I got at first. Because I thought this was just going to be what I upgraded to. It does have a few things in there that I like. But like I said, it is a super cheap set. And you can tell the quality of this is kind of ugh. So, um, it has... The whole reason I got this was actually for this metallic this metal ended rat tail comb this is better for sectioning especially for beginners so if you are a beginning cosmetology student you want to go get you one of these you cannot use it like I said for coloring or highlighting you'll need to use your regular rat tail or section off with your regular your other comb but when you're not when you're just doing cutting and parting for roller sets this metal ended rat tail comb is the way to go it is so much easier so this kit also came with a plastic ended rat tail comb it also came with this three-sided, it's got the wide, it's got the closer, and then it's got kind of like a pick. It came with that set. It came with this, which is one. We did get some of these that'll come in the other part, but we're not using them until the lighting and uh, hair color, which is next semester. So they're currently sitting in a big box with all my other stuff. However, these are really good for applying gel for finger waves, So, which we've started. So I wanted to get a kit that had one of those in there so I could save those other two. We've got the long wide tooth and they are getting stuck on each other. There we go. Then we got this kind of wider tooth rat tail. Um, I'm gonna have to re-sanitize that because it was in my mouth. Then we got this one that's kind of funny shaped. And then we got another plastic rat tail. We got the metallic pick with the kind of regular comb at the end. And then we got the bigger, but without the sectioning inches, just a regular comb. But as you can see, it's kind of like falling apart. I am gonna take some of these out and put them in my comb bag. But this right here, my awesome husband got this for me. And it was $15 at Sally's. This is the Bliss Pro Professional Comb and Barber Set. And it comes with a freaking awesome little case. Look at that. So much better quality than the other one. It has the same metallic ended rat tail. It actually has two of them, a fine tooth and a wide tooth. And it just has so many other things. I'm not going to get into this because I'm going to review this separately in that, you know, cosmetology uh, kit thing that I'm doing. And then the last two things that I have in there, because I am running out of time, is I had to upgrade my timer to a Conair timer because the one that was in my kit quit work. It didn't work like from the time I opened it. So my husband got me this Conair Pro one, which works awesomely. And I always keep a few extra Kotex pads in there just in case either I or a classmate needs them. You never know when it's gonna happen. So that is everything in my cosmetology kit currently. Make sure to follow me on all the social media links down below for little behind the scene type things. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the uh, comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these cosmetology videos. Until next time, bye.